Bom dia. Thanks for joining us today. I am Alan, and I'm here with my wife Leslie and our dog Greer. We are from the United States and now live on the beautiful island of Madeira in Portugal. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you will subscribe to our channel to help us grow. In this video, you will join us on a walk along the promenade that runs between Praia Formosa and Lido in Funchal. It is a pedestrian walkway featuring magnificent views of the Atlantic Ocean lined with manicured landscapes and gardens. It also provides access to several swimming areas and recreation facilities, as well as restaurants and shops. We are excited that the music has been composed, performed, and recorded by my little brother Scott Gorsuch. We hope that you will enjoy the walk and music as we discuss today's subject, which is about life is short, so find a way to make it happen. We have received many requests for a detailed video on shipping pets and cars, as well as the regional foods of Madeira Island. These will be coming soon. Please let us know what other questions you may have so we might answer them in upcoming videos. For years, every time that we returned from vacation, we would be plotting to move. Leslie would get on the phone with her mother, telling her all about the areas and places that we visited. Finally, one of those times, her mother pointed out that we always fell in love with those areas and that we had found our place. And like a light bulb went off, we realized that we would be talking until the bitter end and never doing anything about it if we didn't watch out. So today, we are discussing the topic that we all wrestle with, which is life is short and knowing we should have done this sooner. Let's talk about it. It'll be fun. Vicer de Veso. First, when starting any new project, we need to believe that we can make it happen. Throughout life, we always hear that if you believe you can, then you can figure out a way. I bet you have said that to your children as well. Guess what? It's true. We discovered that we didn't believe we could make our dream come true. We didn't think it was indeed possible for us. You know the feeling. The one that tells you others are luckier, better, smarter, funnier, more handsome, etc. Those are the people that get to design their life, but not us. So start by believing and make some adjustments along the way. It may take a little planning, work and time, but you will get there. Well, in hindsight, we did everything wrong, but not really. We had a lot of fun along our journey and made a bunch of friends and have the world's best children, if I do say so myself. Second, we recommend that if you are watching and think, I would just like to do X, Y, or Z, it's better to just take a step and move forward. Our steps were, we both kept working. We both continued to save and invest money whenever possible. We kept talking about it all the time. We drove people nuts. In case you don't know us or haven't watched any of our videos, we will give you the short story. A few years ago, we started reviewing what retirement would look like for us. While exploring this idea, we decided life was short and we had to be in charge if we were going to make it happen. So we have taken a big step and moved abroad to live in Portugal on the island of Madeira. As you will see, we have sold everything and brought along just a few special things like my 1970 Volkswagen, our rescued Karen Terrier, and our son Wolf. Our adventure has been designed by us to be cost-effective 
and fabulous. Back to our steps. We discovered we were thinking too small. We had to change on how we viewed things. As we continued working and traveling, we were looking at how other people retired and thinking we had to do it the same way as everyone else did. Meaning, we had to have millions of dollars saved or we could never retire to enjoy the good life. We thought when you finally got there, it would mean that you didn't work. Like all the other people that have nice pensions, savings, etc. in order to support themselves. When we retire, we know that keeping busy will help improve our quality of life. So, Leslie decided that she would figure out how to create a retirement lifestyle while continue working. We decided to think bigger, broader, and different. Thinking different turned into our reasons for moving abroad. We had to broaden our thinking to not just where and think about the how. Like for example, about how do you continue to generate an income? We spent a couple of years learning how to manage and invest our money ourselves and creating passive income. Thinking broader was important to avoid the dreaded outcome, working in retirement. We have all heard the stories about people who when they retire figure out that they can't make ends meet and must get a job. We are taught to feel sorry for them, right? Well, that also means that subconsciously we think that if you work when you go off on your next adventure, then somehow you failed. Really? That thinking was not going to work for us. Working for ourselves or for others was exactly the way we were going to build that awesome retirement lifestyle of our dreams now, not later. So that is what we have done. All of it. Moved abroad, created a retirement lifestyle on this wonderful island in the middle of the ocean. We continue to generate cash flow and look for new ways to improve our quality of life. We are also making new friends, learning a new language, experiencing new customs and adventures. Many people think this is too scary. That brings us to the third part. We had to get over our own scary feelings. The journey has been scary in some ways. Being from the United States, the world outside of our borders is scary, especially if it's not an English speaking world or so we thought. But this isn't even close to the truth. First, as long as we did our homework and chose a place where we could live, it would not be scary. Keep in mind, we were not looking for a vacation destination, but a place to live. Second, we recommend that you travel and stay in the area you were interested in for a few months prior to moving. This will allow you to get a feel on whether or not daily life would be like what you had dreamed. Our homework included extensive research on where we could go and feel comfortable with the people and the customs. We did things like join Facebook and YouTube groups for an area we were interested in. Signed up for international magazines. We made friends before we got there with wonderful people who have continued to help us feel comfortable. We followed their channels and asked them questions, many of which they would include in future videos. Let us know what you want to learn about and we'll do our best to answer your questions. We know this is a big deal when you are trying to figure out 
what works for you. We will put our email in the video description. Send us your list of questions. Finally, no matter how big or small, the adventure. We are glad we took the steps to do ours now instead of trying to fit into that perfect American retirement. We are making our own up as we go along. Life is short. We should have done this sooner. But we cannot change the past, so we have chosen to move forward into the future. And if all else fails, we can pack up our toys and go home. Life is short. Enjoy your journey. We hope you continue to come along with us on our new adventure. We are grateful for the opportunity that we have been given. Life is short. We should have done this sooner. Please subscribe to help us grow. Like our videos. Comment so we can improve. And hit that notification bell so we can torture you regularly. Thanks.